Uh, the currency that we have we give the name CD comes from the original or the traditional name CDA, CDA, which is cowry, the cowry share. In the days of old, the cowry share. That's what was used as currency. Currency, yes. So when we attain independence, we decided right to use that as the name of our currency. Now to your left, we are passing by the School of Business. Animal biology to your right. Yes. Animal biology to your right. School of Business to your left. The population for the School of Business have expanded so much that we have an annex built outside the campus. Yes, uh, how the students pay for it? Yes, I will, I will address that. Okay. So we have nursing department coming up to our right. And again, to our right, this is the nursing department. Ahead of us to the right in the curve, we have the Center for Graduate Studies. They manage their affairs. To our left, we are passing the back of the all-female hall of residence. All-female hall of residence, named after our largest and the most important river that we have in Ghana, Volta. So we call it the Volta Hall. And as if the security of the ladies is very important, to your left, we have an all-male hall of residence, <laughs> which is at a higher elevation, so overlooking the security of the ladies. The university is very much interested. What's it named after? That's the Commonwealth Hall. Oh. It was sponsored by the Commonwealth, the British administration. So we call it the Commonwealth Hall, an all-made hall of residence. We have a plantation to our right, a teak plantation. The university is very much interested in greenery, the environment, so it doesn't joke with it. So they uh, planting younger trees to even replace the old and aging one. Coming up to our right is the central administration of the university. You realize that we are climbing. Yes. That's why they call this place the, the Hill of Knowledge, Legon. So we call this place the uh, administration or the registry. So this is the back of um, the Hall of Residence for the male Commonwealth Hall. Bangalows to your right are uh, for members of faculty and top administration of the university. We are behind one of the halls of residence, that's the Legon Hall, the Legon Hall. Again to your right, we have halls of residence, 
Now coming up to your left, we have the Institute of Confucius Studies, Chinese study. That is what is coming up to your left. We are just passing by it. I don't see any Chinese writing. <laughs> it's in front. <laughs> Which front? Yeah, that's it. Let me see if we can get a Zoom family on this. So we have the graduate block of residence for students attached to the Legon Hall of Residence. That we call it Annex C. And next, C. They are mainly graduate students. that problem I just want to no okay. problem that question let's get the landmarks and then we come to that thank you thank you sir. when we make the left we'll be passing by the basic school which will come up to our right the basic school for the members of uh, all the workers of the university but it's not restricted to them, people from outside the investing community who also desire to have their children who are here have access to it. So that's the investing basic school to your right. Again, coming up to your left, we have one of the halls of residence for the graduate students. So we are getting to the front view of the bank square. So this is where the banks are located. We are getting to the market for the students. We call it the night market. The night market. Students, are, most of them, they prepare their own meals. So they have a market for them. In the evenings, that's when they usually come around, when they don't have lectures to come and do their purchases. You have it to your right. Coming up again to your right, we will be passing by the hall of residence for foreign students. Some foreign students decide to live in their own hall. Others decide to live with the locals. So those who want to live exclusively as foreign students, they are housed in the facilities to your right. And this is the front view of the mosque for the university community to your left. All right, now to the question of funding. The students, do they pay? Students make payments, but then they don't pay for tuition. Lecturers' salaries are paid by the state. What students pay for usually are academic user for academic user fees. They pay for you know, the facilities they use in their faculties 
and also in the hostel, they you know the facilities needed to be. The facility needed to be maintained. Right. Same for uh, same for uh, out of country. No, uh, but then foreign students they are made to pay for tuition. We are made to pay for tuition. So we are exiting the campus. So once more, this university was established in 1948. Currently, we have a population of over 53,000 students, and about 700,000 are foreign students. However, the 53,000 students are all not resident on campus here. We have satellite campuses established by the university across the country. Some are in the city over here, where we call the Accra City Campus. Like I said, we have the School of Business, for instance, has another uh, establishment outside the university campus. One is not far from the university, another one is right uh, in the heart of the city. So that's how it is. And across the country, they have satellite campuses. And they also run online courses. So at the uh, at a specific time, the students come and have when the main University is on recess, the student body on recess. Madam, I will attend to you. They come in and then have one on one interaction with their lecturers to prepare them for their examinations. Yes, my beautiful sister. As we were coming out of yeah. the digital side, said you are after those. What? I couldn't read the last word. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We have exited the University of Ghana. So I guess uh, the university finally finished the stadium. <laughs> guess it, they finally finished the stadium. I've seen this thing from 2007 unbuilt. Yeah, it has, uh, you know, gone through a lot of challenges as far as funding is concerned. Uh, that 2007 that you mentioned, yeah. it had been there for more than 10 years before oh, you, wow. you saw it. <laughs> but then the, uh, the state was compelled to complete it to be able to host the games that they had in, um, in May. In fact, the games were supposed to have come on last year, but still because the facility was not completed, that was how come it had to be delayed for another year. From here, 